Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix, and I'm back. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Gonna pull from the true emotional uh, oracle deck to see what energy comes out. You guys, do me a favor. I can't stress enough. Married. Hmm, maybe somebody's going to pop the question this summer. Um, I can't stress enough how I need you guys to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Um, darn. Okay, that came out, but that was, I haven't shuffled for my last read. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. So somebody is going to get married. They have past heartbreak here. There's messages of love here. Um, so somebody is on the verge of getting married. This came out of my last read. Yeah, you're soaring. Uh, truth, discovery, awakening. And it says massive regret. So somebody is going to be in massive regret in regards to, yeah, you saying. <laughs> that's not funny, but I'm saying you saying goodbye. So I think I'm going to put it like this. Yeah, love messages, heartbreak massive regret and goodbye because I think these two came out and then this here romance and shocking news yeah so you're going to get married and that is you closing the chapter and saying goodbye um, massive regret is what you probably went through when it came to the heartbreak that you went through when you're like you know how you go back I'm scooting up on my um, little plastic thing that the chair goes on it comes off on the carpet if you can see my carpet is over there but it comes off on the carpet and it makes me have to struggle. Anyway, you're in, you know, if you're in massive regret, it's not because of the past energy. It's because you're looking back on the cycles of what it is that you went through. And that's you discovering and having an awakening about the truth of why you let this heartbreak go on for so long. And so somebody is in regret and because you said goodbye. And the shocking news is, is that they're going to see that you moved on with someone else. And so, whoa, I was going to say, I'm going to pull from the Monopoly deck on the Mary card. My cards are not in reverse. So Six of Wands, uh, energy. This person is not having a victory. Six of Wands, it says a moment of glory. But um, this person isn't having a victory because you are getting married. Um, Six of Wands in the reverse is just letting you know that, you know, this is their pride, their pride and a lack of recognition of how of how much of a good person you really are. And so you had to have an awakening, which is uh, I was going to say what we're going to clarify. But let's clarify. Oh, sorry. The Six of Wands in the reverse. Let's clarify in the reverse to see what that what that energy is so the six of one is in reverse is that they're having clarity about yeah they're not interested in this you know four cups energy reaching a plateau they're not interested in the fact that you're getting married but again the truth is the truth and you had to have an awakening in regards to this emperor energy or what an emperor energy is like the emperor um, can be respecting yourself and so the illumination comes with you respecting yourself and receiving offers of love messages love messages that are coming and it's not going to cause you yeah five of wands in the reverse the love messages are not going to come with conflict and that's what I was just about to say it's not going to come with conflict you know the five of wands in the reverse is just letting you know that you know hey I'm avoiding the conflict, you know, respecting differences. So you're going to understand why it is that you had to soar away from the emperor type energy, but learn to respect yourself at the same time to have stability, not wait on anybody, not interested in anything else. And so this person is realizing that the whole conflict type energy of being the bad boy or girl, uh, five of wands energy only veered you out to find people who are not, uh, always about conflict and not always about trying to one up undo wait what is it up do another or you know make it seem better or I don't know how to explain it but anyway the loving messages come with yeah mentally stuck they're meant to oh sorry I did that the wrong way they're mentally stuck uh because again you're deciding to move forward so the heartbreak comes with them holding their heart you know 
they're heartbroken because now you found somebody that is not in conflict. And this doesn't have to be with someone. This could be that you're just closing the cycle and learning. Look at all these cards that came out. You're closing the cycle and learning reciprocity, six of pentacles, given to others wholeheartedly as they give to you. So you're learning how to, you learned how to change your belief system, hierophant energy, to start over stable, um, ace of pentacles energy, to be the provider of logic and impartial judgment. You know, you had to have logic in this situation. So starting over stable, realizing why, understanding that where you were sucks, damn, that place sucks. And then also heavy burdens, ten of wands, understanding that these were the burdens that this person caused you and, you know, holding on tight for pinnacles is something that you tried to do before you walked away. But the emotions are there, overflow of emotions, Ace of Cups energy, especially when it came to how you felt in regards to love. And so now the romantic offer is coming to you and this person is mentally stuck because you closed this chapter they didn't think that you would be able to live without them so the massive regret is where they are now and they have an overflow of emotion that and regret how they treated you and what they did um, at that same point and so that you were able you were strong enough to say goodbye and so now they're regretting that you know they're you know they're holding their heart they're regretting it and people are saying you lost one, you know. Um, I say that to say J. Cole, you know, I haven't talked about music in a while, but, you know, the J. Cole thing, you know, he came out and apologized that, you know, he's, yeah, wishes come true. So here it is. Hold on. The massive regret is that your wish is finally coming true. And do they regret that, um, that your wishes are coming true? No, they regret that they did not give you the love offer that you deserve and they knew that you deserved, and you said goodbye but back to j cole you know he apologized to kendrick lamar which you know depending on what where you were in rap and how you saw the rap battles apologies is a sign of growth to where we are right now and no regret and he regretted but when he apologized he turned around and played his song no such thing as a life that's better than yours, you know, and it's not even about the whole beef thing. It's about how far you've grown and that no matter what you say and how you say, nobody, you know, it's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. So you saying goodbye is you having a realization that, you know what, I've done everything I could. I have to close this cycle. I have to close this chapter. And sometimes closing the chapter is bittersweet, but I have to do that. And so you had to say goodbye to somebody who you thought that you would be. Oh, I thought a card fell out. Somebody who you thought that you would be in a relationship with or, you know, understand their quirky side. Look at all these cards that come out. Goodbye is here. So I'm going to put this over here. Uh, justice, consequences of their actions. Chariot, moving forward. Joyous home, four of wands energy. All you want is peace, happiness, and harmony. So you had to end the cycle tower energy soul search and hermit energy and also three of swords grief and sorrow you had to go through a heartbreak too in order to really officially end this but this is on only in order for you to see what love is you know and the romance so the romance is here and that comes with perseverance he waited for this you know seven of wands energy the seven of wands energy is defenses you had to put your defenses up in order for you to be able to go through this. But this is what they had up uh, when it came to where you were, when you were trying to, you know, uh, um, love this person. They always tried to maintain control and never wanted romance again. Um, and so the shocking news is that you had to, this card tried to come out. Yep, Eight of Pentacles, work on yourself. And have them watch you work. Eight of Pentacles, eight years. Eight years it took for you to be able to work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles, each year is equivalent to a year. So the shocking news is that you worked on yourself. You closed the cycle out. Bottom of the deck is Empress. <laughs> I can't make this up. It's the Empress energy. The Empress energy is seeing the beauty in yourself, but it's you creating the life that you deserve. And that comes with you being able to receive the love that you deserve and also the, the the 
give what you receive to, you know, Six of Pentacles energy. I said that earlier, you know, you're not interested in any type of conflict. You're only interested in love and that's that. And so therefore the Empress is here when it comes to you closing out this chapter, you have to close out the old in order for the new. And that's how the universe works. So in the beginning we have married and at the end we have married. So this is something that you will be able to enjoy and be successful with because of the fact that you decided to work on yourself and say goodbye. Bye, bye, baby. You know, you decided to say goodbye and realize no such thing as a life that's better than yours. They had to realize that, but you realize that you were too good to be true to this person and that is where they are. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck and then I'll pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements in the crystal deck, I put it up above and you can just click the link. The card that comes out is always do your best and don't overdo. And the crystal tangerine quartz. So always do your best. Don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. And so that is what you had to understand that the truth, discovery, and awakening is about you putting yourself first and closing out all the cycles that don't lo no longer serve you in order for you to understand. Oh, wait, the tangerine cords, just listen, the root, sacral, and solar plex chakra, which is understanding, acceptance, and growth. You had to accept where you are and that everybody can't come with you to the top and some cycles have to be closed out. I release all judgments so that I may grow spiritually. You hear that? I release all judgments so that I may grow spiritually. Tangerine chords. And that is what closing the cycle out meant to you. So let's let this old energy go. And I miss you guys. I want to say that. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, bad, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.